what is small files issue and what is optimize and when we will use optimize and how to use optimize and uh, optimize internal process so let's understand in this video i'm going to give a brief information about optimize and how to fix small files issue so when it comes to delta table if a table is having a lot of data and a lot of data files nothing but more number of small files if you have more number of small files when you are reading data for analytics so it should read every file means it should open the file it should read the data it should close the file so disk io impact will be there if you have a more number of small files obviously that will impact the performance even if you have a less data but more number of small files that can happen over the period like uh, if the table is getting uh, added uh, every day some files with a less than uh, 20 mb 30 mb data files but after one month after two months after six months the number of files can increase or if you are getting data from source system which is streaming streaming every few minutes they'll send the data small files if the source itself they are sending a small files you are blindly adding data into target over the period the more number of small files will be there in the target table the target table if they are using for analytics you'll see performance issues so how to fix this so delta is providing one option called optimize optimize is a concept where it will read all these files data and it will write in memory then it will create a new files with average file size 1 gb 1 gb is before compression not after compression always remember the 1 gb size is before compression not after compression it will create average file size before compression 1 gb okay then after compression the parquet file may be 200 mb may be 300 mb instead of small files it will be have a bigger files that's a concept concept called optimize so let's take a simple example i have a table in my databricks account say a line table let's verify in this table how many files are there so we can verify using a sql command uh, describe detail then table name it will give you where these files are storing nothing but the location this is the a physical location and uh, partition column cluster columns number of files is 48 files size size you can verify here size in bytes bytes to kilobytes kilobytes to megabytes if you convert so 896 mb so less than 1 gb but this is after compression because it's a parquet file so after compression it is but before compression it will be around 4 gb or less than 5 gb so let's what we'll do we'll run optimize on top of this instead of reading of 48 files whenever we run optimize whenever we run optimize on top of this table okay optimize table table name what this will do it will read all these 48 files data it will write in in memory then it will create again multiple partitions so let let me show you the back end process if you go to the spark jobs you can see this multiple jobs are running okay so let me open one latest task which is running here this is the final task uh, four files it is going to create uh, because we have 48 files and it is reading one to 48 files in a single batch you say the single batch it is reading then that optimizing 48 files mean it is reading this 48 files data it will write in in memory then it will create a new files so how it will create a new files so it is going to create a four new files why it is going to create a four new files so there is a parameter so that parameter block size when it is creating a four files right how it is creating this four files so which we can verify this parameter spark dot conf dot get there's a parameter called spark dot data bricks dot delta dot optimize max file size so this parameter will give you the size in bytes the size in bytes is 1 gb so this data entire data that 48 files data it will store in in memory then that data will convert into number of partitions how it will convert into number of partitions based on this parameter size so currently these jobs are running so that's why it is taking a waiting state 
currently it is creation in progress after that even the deleted files will be there in the same location even we can go and use a vacuum vacuum and this table this table so retain zero hours so just we want to clear all the old files old deleted files so if you want to delete all old files or you can say deleted files you can use the vacuum the table name retain zero hours uh, by default it will keep that seven days time travel so we need to disable the parameter that's a retention duration check parameter will be there so that parameter we need to disable if you want to remove those deleted files now it is removing 48 files and recreating of four files now three files already completed and just the last file in progress now you can see this it's removed of 48 files and recreated four files the size the total four files size you can see this this is the two four files size and as i told you right so 48 file size created into just four files just i'm going to show you bytes 919 megabytes this is the default size in bytes just converted into megabytes now even this is the size parameter value so 1024 mb is nothing but 1 gb this is the file size is 1 gb then even if you go and verify describe detail you can find only four files the latest you can find only four files okay four files and the size table size this is the table size only four files are active files remaining all are deleted you go and verify you can find this this location you can find a lot of deleted files still if you want to keep that you can keep for seven days otherwise just go and run vacuum keeping the zero hours keeping zero hours is nothing but removing all deleted files all snapshot files only four active files deleted files we purged or you can say we removed so how to remove those deleted files vacuum vacuum retain zero hours means so instead of keeping the snapshot just we delete the snapshots so this way which we can go and use optimize to remove smaller files and create average file size actually not a file size a total size but after compression it may be less than 1 gb with the file size before compression it will be 1 gb that's the parameter value also you can verify this okay so this way which we can go and run optimize command and which it will recreate a new files it will remove all smaller files so next time whenever you are reading it will read only these four files instead of 48 files this is called optimize and when to use how to use so it depends on the table depends on the table backend operations if you are doing a more up upset more update more insert right then run optimize at least weekly once or bi-weekly ones, then it will remove small files, you'll get a better performance. Thank you for watching my videos. See you in another video.